We're starting off our day at a nice cafe with Cafe Con Leches, which I can't show you because we already drank. Andrew was supposed to teach a class this morning, so we came here very early and then the class canceled. So we've been working on some vlogs, uploading a vlog and planning out our day and our upcoming days. We have a lot planned, so we're really excited. A little worn out from yesterday's hike, but <laughs> I was up early, finished the vlog, feeling productive, ready to go. But we're gonna go get cash first and then we're gonna head to the market, which is amazing. We went to that market yesterday and we heard that more would be open today, which there was, but it was about very similar to what it was yesterday. Yeah. So we walked around for a bit, it was super crowded, and in Tico in general, today on a Thursday feels more crowded. Definitely. But we're gonna go to this museum behind me. I believe there's two museums behind me. There's the arms museum, so like the military museum, and then the actual museum of Guatemala, so like the history and everything kind of in one museum. So Alright, let's go. So currently where we are is actually the National Art Museum of Guatemala. So we thought this was going to be the History Museum, but it actually does go through a lot of the history. But we're currently in what was the Royal Palace. It looks very similar to the architecture in Spain, same type of plaza, but we can actually see the volcano. So that's pretty cool. So far, this museum's been really good. Uh, I've really enjoyed looking at all the art and the Mayan history, as well as the history of Guatemala. But overall, I think this museum's extra special because of just how beautiful it is when you walk through it. You can see ruins, you can see this beautiful view of the Parque Central. Overall, it's just a really special experience. And we'd recommend coming here because it's free. <laughs> all right, well, we're done. Highly recommend going in there. It's beautiful architecture, even if you're not into kind of like the art of it but they go through a lot of history and the architecture is absolutely stunning. So we highly recommend it, but we gotta go back and eat some lunch because we are starving. So we are currently headed to Cappuccino's Covenant. I believe here is where they make coffee, which is a joke. We are currently headed to Cappuccino's Covenant and really we're just gonna learn as much as we can about it because honestly I don't know too much about it. It's one of the covenants that you have to see in the city, which did I say covenant? You all will right. pass the sauce on your cheek. Oh my god, I'm all over the place. Can we just walk? <laughs> even just walking the streets here is kind of like its own little museum. So even when we're just walking to, for example, the convent, seriously, like this is so beautiful. So this is the church and the convent of the Las Capuchinas uh, and it was consecrated in 1736 but today it's one of the most visited spots in Antigua Guatemala. So we're kind of learning as we go, as we walk through. There's not a ton of signs that we can read but what we do know is that the nuns that lived here lived in a very strict religious way which meant a lot of fasting and living a very simple life. So as we learn though, we get to really enjoy these courtyards and the beautiful views and pretty much like the ruins of the original building. It's incredibly gorgeous, but I do hope we can read a little bit more of the history and you know, learn more why this building is so unique. Also, we learned that in the 1770s, I believe, there was an earthquake here in Antigua which didn't necessarily wipe out the building, but it definitely took a toll. And the archbishop actually ended up selling the building in 1813 to the government. And then the government since then has had multiple uses for it. But this is a really, really historical building in Antigua. So, and it's absolutely beautiful. Just come here for the views and to walk around, it's beautiful. Also, our Airbnb host told us to definitely come with a guide because they really, they point out a lot of minute details. We did not. <laughs> <laughs> um, he said it was highly recommended to come with a guide if you really want to understand a lot of the historical um, significance of the building and the little details behind it. So if you look at this beautiful view, up here at the top is actually where we hiked the other night and saw the, well, we tried for the sunset view, but it was very cloudy. But yeah, it was where we hiked up the other day to see a beautiful view of Antigua. We might do it again today. 
because we're really upset that there's been so many clouds and we haven't been able to see any kind of view. But yeah, you can get it all in this view of this courtyard and it's gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they do that? This, can you even see it? Oh. That scared the crap out of me. Pranked, they got you good, they got you good. <laughs> Time to go into the nun basement. Yeah, that, that's not scary at all. I hope there's more nun figurines. There's like an army of them. <laughs> this feels spooky. Oh, this is where they would come to sing. Huh? This is where they would come to sing. Oh. Wow, that's an actual... Cool. If you can tell, the acoustics in here are intense. This is where the nuns would come and sing, is what I've read. Hello? To sample the singing, Andrew will show you what the acoustics sound like. Give us a little sample. Let's harmonize, ready? <clears throat> oh God. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just don't make it be flat. <laughs> Is anyone coming? <laughs> ready? Harmonize this. Me, 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 me. Was that good or what? Don't leave me in the nun basement. <laughs> the kitchen looks like a big pizza oven. Looks like they overcooked a few things. <laughs> the what? nuns back in the day probably weren't your height. So it's actually just perfect for you. Why are you complaining? Wow. So where we're at right now, I'm assuming must be the church. This is so crazy how it's still intact and they've kept it preserved. Because I feel like genuinely you don't see this a lot. The walls are wearing away because it's so old and I'm, they're trying to restore this church. But the wearing away at the walls is almost has its own form of beauty. It really does look like a piece of art or like it's supposed to look like that. So it's really, truly incredible. We're about to go to a brewery. We're just gonna be celebrating our thousand, our 1,000 subscribers. Um, which shout out to you guys for subscribing and watching our videos. And also shout out to Lisa and Josh because they're actually buying our beers today. They donated to us on Buy Me A Coffee, which you can see down below. And go sub to them by the way, they just hit 10K. So shout out to them as well and congratulations. But yeah, currently we're gonna go get some beers. And we have a beautiful view of the volcano. Luckily it's not too hazy to the point where we can't see it. We can, we can just about see it, but it's still beautiful and it's great. But yeah, now we're here, gonna get more beer and then probably go eat some dinner. You have a 10? <laughs> I only have 100, do you? Oh uh, no, I get my 10 away. No. Well, I was craving ice cream. So we chased on this guy. <laughs> We ended up getting a snow cone, and we ended up not having a small enough bill to pay him, because it was only uh, the schedules. I don't know, like two bucks? Less than. Like less than two dollars. We ended up, <laughs> we only had a hundred Ketzel, and he didn't have change. But uh, we ended up paying in US dollars, so I hope that was okay. <laughs> Regardless, we had this snow cone thing, and it's pretty darn good. Jenna's bright idea was to buy a snow cone on the chilliest night that we've had here. But it's what she was craving. We were celebrating, so. Well, technically I was craving ice cream. We'll just have to get that another time, but this is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> we missed the sunset. Jenna's trying to put on my sweatshirt that I brought up here. <laughs> you look like a nun. I asked if I should bring one, and he says, it's not worth it. <laughs> Hope you had fun watching this video, because honestly, this was, uh, this was a fun one to, uh, to, uh, to make. We actually figured out today, we actually do have Saturday. We thought we did not have Saturday. Yeah, but we do. So we're planning another little 
tour. We're going to have a fun tour planned for Saturday. Yes. We'll see you then. Ciao. Peace. Also, this is our balcony, by the way. That's where we're at. I don't think we really prefaced that. Our little terrace, not balcony. It's a terrace. Terrace, we're on the roof. <laughs> oh my God, how can you move like that? Yo! <laughs> hey, we took, we, took, we took salsa dancing in Panama. We took salsa. <laughs>